Alright, this video is on monomials. I want to start with a little note, a little definition of, of a monomial. A monomial is a number, a variable, or a product of numbers and variables where the exponents on the variables are all positive integers. All right, so essentially it has this form. a times x to the n power. Right? So there are, there are pieces of this, though, that we want to know the names of. The a, right here, the a, is called the coefficient of the monomial. So every monomial has a coefficient, and it's going to be that number that's uh, multiplied there uh, out in front of the variable, or with the variable. The n, right up here, the exponent on the variable, is called the degree of the monomial. So every monomial is going to have a degree associated with it as well. All right, so it's very important we understand the words coefficient and degree. All right, let's look at some examples. All right, so let's take negative 7x there. The coefficient of that monomial is negative 7. The degree of the monomial is, well, what's the degree on the variable x? Well, there's nothing written up there, so it's understood to be a 1, so the degree is 1. All right, what about the second one down here? The coefficient is 1 third. It's that number out in front there. Well, the degree of the monomial is 5, the exponent on the variable. So far, so good? All right, well, now we're going to throw in the number 9. Now we're missing the variable x, but we can. But remember, we we can think of nine as nine times x to the zero power. Why? Because x to the zero is the same thing as one. Remember that. Okay. So the coefficient would be nine, but the degree of this monomial would be zero because that's the degree that's on the variable x. It's just not written, right? It's not there. So if the variable's missing, the degree is zero. Right? The degree of the term is zero. All right, this last one, I want to add one more. or I just want to add z to the third. All right, so look at these last two together all at once. All right, so let's look at this bottom one, z cubed. When, uh, when we look at this monomial, clearly we can see that the degree is 3. Right? But the number that's out in front there, well, we didn't write anything out in front there. Right? There's, there's not, it's not like a 1 third or a negative 7. Right? There's nothing out in front there. So it's understood to be the number 1. Right? 1 times z cubed. We just don't write the 1. We just leave it written like that. Right? So the coefficient is 1. Well, up here then, this negative z squared, clearly the degree is 2, right? But the coefficient, with this minus sign out in front, the coefficient is a negative 1, right? So it's very important that we, re we recognize when the degree of a monomial is 1, right? When the coefficient of a monomial is 1, or the coefficient of a monomial is negative 1. So that's it for the coefficient and degrees of monomials with one variable. What happens when we have two variables? right or more if a monomial contains more than one variable then the degree of the monomial is the sum of the exponents of the variable so for example let's look at that one so the so the coefficient's negative 4 and the degree is well since there are two variables here or more than one variable i should say uh, then the we add the exponents together so 2 plus 7 gives you 9 all right, so that's the idea for the degree of a monomial if you have more than one variable. You probably won't see that a lot, but just in case you run into it, um, that's how we did calculate the degree. All right, so now let's go into multiplying and dividing monomials. The good news is you're already familiar with how to do this. All right, this, that should look very familiar. Uh, negative 3x to the fifth y times 4x squared y cubed looks very similar to, to, we, uh, to some examples we had in a previous uh, video. We use the rules of exponents that we, we learned before. So negative 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. And then you have x to the 5th times x squared. Well, that's x to the 7th. And y times y cubed is y to the 4th. Right? So that's all that the multiplying two monomials is all about. It's essentially the stuff we were doing before. Same idea with dividing. Right? So we have 5 over 35, so 5 will go into 5 once, go into 35 7 times. We have a 7 on the denominator, right? and, then, and a 1 in the numerator, but we're gonna, I'm going to wait and see if there's anything with the variables here. You have an x to the third in the top and an x in the bottom. So you're dividing and have the same base. Subtract the exponent, so 3 minus 1 is 2. 
So we get x squared. So I'm not going to write the 1 that, that up here in the numerator. And then y to the fifth over y squared would be 5 minus 2 is 3, so y cubed. Right? So just those same rules of exponents that we had um, before uh, when you're talking uh, multiplying and dividing monomials. Now, to add or subtract monomials, those monomials must be like terms. All right, so here's some... Uh, Here's some monomials. All right, so we have 4x cubed monomial, 7x, negative 8x cubed y, 5x cubed, and negative 6a cubed. Only this one and this one are like terms. Like terms means that the variable part of the monomial, they have to be exactly the same. Same um, variables, same exponents on those variables. If they're different in any way, like this, this one right here, we added a y on there, right? Um, then negative 8x cubed y is not considered a like term with 5x cubed because the variables are different. They have to be exactly the same. All right, that's the catch. Exactly the same. Same letters, same exponents on those letters. All right, so let's do a couple of examples. All right, so 3x plus 5x. These are like terms. Everybody can see that, right? So to add like terms, you um, keep the variable parts to be the same, and you add or subtract the, the coefficients. That's it. So in this case, it's 3 plus 5, so it's going to give you 8, and then the variable's x. All right, so 3x plus 5x goes to 8x. Now, the real reason why this goes to 8x is because of the distributive property. Right? We know that 3x plus 5x can be written as 3 plus 5 times x. You know, the distributive property says um, we can distribute this x through and get 3x plus 5x, right? So we're just rewriting it a different way. And then we, following the order of operations, we do the 3 plus 5 to give us 8, and that gives us 8x. So 3x plus 5x goes to 8x. We're just bypassing this middle step here because we know that's what's going to happen every time. Right? So to add like terms, add or subtract like terms, the variables the variable part stays the same, and you just add or subtract the coefficients. But the real reason why this is happening is because of the distributive property. So let's look at this last example down here, number two. All right, so we have 4x cubed and negative 5x cubed. All right, those are like terms. What do those add up to? 4x cubed, negative 5x cubed is going to give you a negative x cubed. We don't have to write the one. And then we have a positive 7y and a negative y. Those are like terms as well. And how do those add up? 7y minus y, so that'd be plus 6y. Can we add the x, the negative x cubed and the 6y together? No, because they are not like terms. So this is just as far as we can simplify up this expression. Right? Very important that we're going to be able to combine like terms later on because it's going to, um, that's how we're going to simplify expressions down so then we can play with them a little easier. Plus it's going to allow us to uh, solve some, help us solve equations later. All right, that's all I've got for monomials. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.